Hello, you. Hello, everybody. This is Roy Awesome. I was actually going to have a better opening, but I forgot it. Um, this is another time for another base review. This time I'm doing OMR Terraforming. I'm Roy Awesome, and uh, this is a base review. So, OMR Terraforming is a base. It's a new base. Um, replaces OMR Scrap and Salvage, um, which was a base along the Western Warp Gate um, outermost path towards God and Tech Plant. Um, and I don't know if you guys all have played on this base, but I'm really happy this base was reworked because OMR Scrap and Salvage was a complete and total butt of a base. Um, it had pieces sticking out everywhere. The terrain was not conducive for fighting. Like, you would get stuck in pits and stuff. So, I mean, it's really nice that they had fixed it and um, upgraded it. Um, so, the general layout is that you have two real attack paths. Um, the first attack path is up from Ganon Labs, or Ganon Research Labs, up to here. Um, and then the second attack path is down from Genodyne Holographics, um, down from the north. Um, there are two attacker sunder garages, one next to, or one facing the north right over here. And one in the south on the other side. Um, these two sunder garages are the only ways up into the base. Um, you cannot get up in any other spot. So you must go through one of the two Sunder Garages. Um, which I feel is kind of not a good thing. Um, I feel like having an alternate attack path into this base would be much nicer. Because there's like, there's this rock face. Where, yeah, if you're Light Assault, you could probably er, jetpack up here. But like, this entire face right here. They even, they even have like a thing up here. And, so you have to park in one of the Sunder Garages or along this wall right here. That's another place you can park. I think that's out of range of the no center no deploy zone. Um, small bug. This is not perfect. I demand perfection. Um, I slash bug that already. So, yeah. Um, the point is an open air point um, with a little bit of cover. There is two large trees. However, there's a big open area over here. I don't think this is going to be that big of a deal. But it is a thing. I feel like there should be another tree over here if you're going to have an open air point. Um, otherwise, this is just going to get cover camped by liberators. Um, the spawn room is very nice and set up. Um, there is the teleporter. Here is the spawn room. Now, if you actually look on how this is laid out, um, you can clear. So, this spawn room, you have to run down the staircase. Um, and then you can fire down from up here. You can take, you can jump this or take the stairs. Um, you got a vehicle terminal here, which is nice and defendable. You can fire out over there. Again, remember, there is a Sunder Bay right here. Um, you can fire down here. So this is my first real issue with this base, is you can jump this wall here, and there's also a staircase here, but it's on the other side of this little fence. But you can jump this chest high wall here and here, and come out right here, which is actually a shorter run to the enemy Sunderer, then the, that Sunderer has a chance to get to the point. Now I did some timing. The time from spawn room to point at full sprint is 14 seconds. Um, the time from this uh, Sunder Garage to um, point is 26 seconds or 20, 26 to 28 seconds um, and I did not run up this path I ran up the safer path because this path is not going to be viable just because the enemies the defenders can jump down from here and like I mean this is their spawn room like they can just completely destroy you coming up here so I did not count this path this path I don't feel is viable uh, it's just going to get you killed and then from the southern one, it is 18 seconds to point. So this path is not... I don't like it, and I don't know how you solve this problem. Because, like, full sprint from he, uh, from spawn room to there is, like, 14, 15 seconds. So they have 28 seconds to get to the point, and the defenders have 14 seconds to get to your sunder. That's not a good situation. Also, this turret covers... Um, a very good angle. You can't actually hit anything over there. You can only hit things coming up the staircase. But if this turret is pointed any other direction, then that, that whoever's gutting this turret is bad. I mean, then you got a D 
decent angle here, but that's not very good. This is just, you can camp people coming up, trying to clear that. So it's like, this is, this entire corridor right here is just death hallway. I feel like there should be some kind of uh, blocking cover here. Or this staircase should be moved um, to about here. This would be a good spot for the staircase. Because right now that turret is just going to completely gun anyone down trying to get up this path. It's a very aggressive path. If, you, if the defenders have that path, then they have a 14 second run. Or the attackers, I mean. If the attackers have that, they have like a 14, 15 second run, but they also have to run through the spawn room, so it's even more dangerous. Anyway, um, from the south, there is actually a really good Sunder spot here. I really like this Sunder spot. I think this is one of the better Sunder spots on Hassan in general, um, as it is nice and protected as you come up here. Um, so you can cut around the edges. If you come around the back side, you can run around here, go into this building, which this is a nice building to attack. Um, there's a staircase here that you can climb up. Puts you dangerously close to their teleporter room, but that's not the... It's not... It's not a viable attack path for them. Like, there's no... This window... These windows are sealed. So yeah, you do have... A, you are dangerously close to their teleporter, but those windows are sealed. So you can come up here. It's got a nice little cover zone. You can clear from here. So if you're watching this, you don't really have to watch that corner a whole bunch, like a couple guys can watch that and the rest of them can just like peek this. So there's good cover groups here, good cover zones, nice fields of fire. You can clear out this uh, whoever's camping your Sunder exit pretty easily by just running around this direction. Um, and I believe there is another way up over here on this side. No, there is not. Hmm. Yeah, it's not, it's not the end of the world. You have two ways up, so. Um, I like this lower terrace. This lower terrace is really nice as you can run around here as like light assault and like get up above. And then there's also staircases up. So you can like flank. Nice nice flanking zones. Uh, the the inner part of this space is really nice. I'm really excited to play in this space. Um, it is in a harder to get to spot on the lattice. Um, as it is north of Ganon Tech Plant. Ganon Tech Plant is generally, if you have the Western Warp Gate, you generally have the line. Your line looks kind of like this around. You have Hurricane usually, and you come down along here, and you usually have Ganon. And there's usually a big fight between Ganon and uh, Bidal Biolab. And usually these bases are, these are the more heavily contested bases in here. So this base here, not the most contestable area, but it's still, it's in a good spot. It'll see more play than Fort Liberty, I think. Um, there's a lot of space up here to do Light Assault games, which I'm really excited about. Prim I like to primarily play Light Assault, so I'm really super excited about that. And just in general, um, good combat. So yeah, my biggest problem, again, is this this Sunder spot. It's the, There's a really clear field of fire, very little cover from the uh, enemy spawn room. So you're forced to walk around. Oh, and I didn't show you guys the long way up. The long way up, the one that I timed, is coming up this way. You have to walk. You cannot break. You cannot breach this. You have to walk up this way. And then you come up to the here. Which is not the best, because if they're full sprinting from their spawn room, they can actually hit this spot before... The, they get up here like this is where the contact point is at full sprint from spawn room to um it's right about here is where the contact point is and if you're defenders you have a significant advantage standing right here compared to the attackers who are running up you just so on and so forth um but if you don't realize that they're coming the attackers are coming up this way you're going to get breached pretty easily through that because they have really good field of fire from here and from this tree so you're gonna get you're gonna get completely wrecked if you don't realize they're coming through that uh, coming through this way. Um, another issue I have is with this um, this equipment terminal. I feel like this equipment terminal should be inside this building because it's an open air terminal. Like anybody standing right there can get you. Anybody coming along the edge here can get you. It's not something you want. You don't want to be mucking about with a 
with a menu while you're in the middle of a fight. So I feel like it should be like, put the terminal right here. I mean, yeah, you kind of lose this really cool little alcove covering awning thing, but... Or maybe put like a little wall right here to cover as a cover area. Which, yeah, this area does need a little bit more cover, I feel. Maybe a couple walls here. Make this... Yeah, because this is really... I don't want to stand here. That's really bad. I can get killed from there. I can get killed from there. And if they're anywhere along this line, I can get killed from. And that's, like, immediately out of the gate here. You come out of this spawn room, and you climb up these stairs. And you're here. Like... That's not very good. Um, I also feel like this Sunder Garage should be pushed forward a little bit. I feel like it's too far for or too far out. Um, push it in to about right here. Along this line. Um, that way you're a little closer. And you can get into this building. And that'll cut down like two or three seconds off the full sprint time, which is nice. That'll that'll bring the uh, the fight point the the natural flow to right about the staircase. You'll at least get up, mostly up, at least into this cover corner. Is it? Eh, it's not a very good cover corner. That's the best cover you're going to hope for here. Yeah, no, that's not good. You'll want to hug this wall on your way. Yeah, that's not... Oh, you can climb up there. Reproduce this. Okay. It's this line right here. You can climb up that. Wall run that. That is viable. I don't know. It's this is a this is a rough this is a really rough attack path. Um, if you're attacking this base, one hundred percent get us under here. Get a, or get us under down here in the southern path, because this northern one is just it's not a good sunder deploy zone. So yeah, that's ORM terraforming plant. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah.